Um, I have a couple of questions for Eddie. So, first one is, what makes your leadership programs different? Um, I think really what makes uh, the programs that we deliver different is that they are, uh, they start out from the beginning as uh, a blended learning mm -hmm. solution. So, you know, how is this going to get sustained? Uh, that's the, bit, the biggest part of it. Um, and then looking at uh, what I've started calling like, digital blurring, so using tools that people use every day, like LinkedIn and Twitter and things like that, right. to help sustain the learning. Right. Now, with sustaining sustainment piece, are there strategies that you put in place to make sure that they're actually sustained? Are there measurement models that you use? How are you ensuring that learning actually is sustained? Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely measurement, and it's it's very uh, specific for the project that I'm working on. So we always start. In fact, I just came from a session where we were talking about blended learning. Yeah. Um, and uh, Diane Wallace had this great advice where, you know, you need to start, you know, not just looking at the tools to, to uh, that that shouldn't be your starting point. It should be what's the goal, how are you going to measure it, and then be tool agnostic as long as possible. Right. Uh, so that was pretty cool uh, advice like that, that she had. Yeah. Very good. It's been said that true professionals, learning professionals, continuously learn themselves. So can you tell me how you continuously learn to ensure that you're on top of the game and what you're doing? Mm -hmm. um, well, I definitely conferences like this is a simple answer. Uh, also, Twitter is something which I've started to turn to more often in, in the tweet chats that the Institute uh, has. Right. Um, I'm also doing actually a master's degree myself uh, in distance education, so okay. it's uh, something that is always top of mind about what's next. Right, education's good, go to school. <laughs> so, so what would you be suggesting to uh, a new learning professional so that they ensure that they have that um, understanding that they are themselves needing to be continuously learning? What would you advise them? Uh, what would be my advice to a new learning professional to encourage continuous learning? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'd say it's it's the profession that we're in. You know, you have, we have to kind of walk the walk the talk. Uh, so that would be my biggest advice: is you you'd be a little bit um, uh, hypocritical if you weren't pursuing continuous learning yourself as a learning professional. Right, right. So, Good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. For Thanks, all Robin. That. Good see to you see you.